What's going on, YouTube? You guys are watching Box and Talk with Shaka Waka. What's going on, everybody? Yo, I just want to ask the question, like, why isn't anybody taking Gary Russell Jr.'s call-outs seriously? Or is it that they take him too seriously? But before I get into that, I want to say thank you to everybody who comes and likes and comments on my videos. Shout out to all my subscribers and shout out to the whole LDBC, man. Y'all the realest. Now, let's go ahead and speak on this, man. So... I really have a legit question that I have no idea what the answer is. Um, well, I, I got like I got a guess to what it is, but nobody really came out and said it. So, like, why isn't anybody taking Gary Russell Jr.'s call out seriously? Why is nobody stepping up to the plate to fight this man? Why is nobody being serious about fighting this man? I just want to know, like. He has gone to certain lengths, Mr. Gary Russell Jr. has gone to certain lengths to call people out very animatedly, you know what I'm saying? I never thought he would get to, like, calling Terrence Crawford out, but it has come, it has came to that because nobody is fighting him. Like, I don't get why. Why is everybody allowed to duck Gary Russell Jr.? Why is nobody holding any foot, anybody's feet to the fire? You know what I'm saying? One fight that I always wanted to see, um... Brooklyn Child Boxing, I don't think he makes any videos anymore, but he brought this to the forefront first. He talked about uh, Gary Russell Jr. versus Tank Davis. Now, that fight is that fight would be fire. I want to see that, especially because Tank, he's not that big. You know, he's heavy, but he's not that big. And him and Gary Russell Jr. have totally different styles. You know, Gary Russell is a... Uh, he likes to throw combinations, and he's really, really fast with his hands. Might be the fastest in boxing with his hands. And then we got Tank Davis, who's just a powerhouse for his size, you know. He has one-punch knockout power, but he's also explosive, and he's very precise. His precision is spectacular, but that fight has been out there for a minute. You know what I'm saying? That fight has been out there for a minute, and I don't see why Tank Davis wouldn't want to fight him, but he he'll fight leo santa cruz who's one of these people on this list that also ducked gary russell jr you know what i'm saying one thing that gary russell jr i think is a fault is that he only fights like once a year so he's not that big of a draw um so they say but i think that if gary russell jr fights somebody of a tank davis or a leo santa cruz that they can make big numbers especially how, how gary russell has been calling them both out like this also, he's called out Lomachenko again for that rematch. And that fight was really good. That fight was closer than what they try to show you in the highlights. You got to really pay attention. They were both landing good shots. You know what I mean? Um, I do think that Lomachenko edged it out a little bit. He was he was hitting the more power shots, you know, the 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 powers that was uh, the shots that were snapping Gary Russell's head back, but Gary Russell was in there the whole nine and then quit like most of these other people do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was in there fighting the whole time. And he was landing his good shots. Going to the body and everything. So, I think he deserves a, a rematch with that as well. You know, everybody's making it a big deal to not fight this man. And I don't get it. I'm not really understanding why. Like, you would think because he's smaller, people would jump to the jump to the fact to fight him. You know what I'm saying? It's like the whole thing with that happened with Riggerdow is happening all over again for Gary Russell Jr. And it's really not fair down there in them little weight classes. Like, why is nobody... I don't get it. I don't know. I don't have no answer because I want to say that maybe because he, he's just too skilled and they don't want to bother with it or maybe because he's too small, they think that uh, that's not doing anything for them. I can't say that for Tank because you about to fight Leo Santa Cruz who was down there on 126 too so please tell me please tell me the uh the reasoning behind this you know uh Shakur could be fighting him too Shakur Stevenson he's at 126 right now so he could be fighting um Leo uh not Leo Santa Cruz but uh Gary Russell Jr. I'm not understanding I wish somebody would just give me a solid ass reason on why they cannot fight this man I don't get it this man is doing the most of the most, calling everybody out. He done called out at least seven people. What is Leo Santa Cruz, Carl Frampton, uh, he called him Abner Mares, T 
Tank Davis, Devin Haney, uh, Shakur Stevenson, Terrence Crawford. Like, how many is that right there? Like, he, he done named out, he done called out all these people and just can't seem to get a fight. Like, what more does Gary Russell have to do to get a fight? Um, people talk shit and say he can't sell, but... Who else? We've been wanting to see these fights with Gary Russell Jr. for the longest. You telling me people ain't going to watch that shit? You got, man, you got the game twisted. Are y'all really scared of this, man, at this point? That's what I'm feeling. That's how I feel. Um, I see Devin Haney says something about his weight, that he's too small. But, okay, he's too small. Fight him, yo. Because I was saying the same thing about Terrence Crawford. Like, because that's a big-ass jump, you know, from 126 to 147. I feel like... The weight difference is just so unfair for both of them. But if this man wants to fight, man, fight. You know what I'm saying? Somebody acknowledge this man. Somebody be like, all right, let's do it. I'm waiting for that. Like, no, y'all going to go ahead with y'all bullshit fights. The only mean, meaningful fight down there right now that's about to happen is the fucking uh, um, Teofimo and Lomachenko fight. That's it. But what's going on after that? Nothing. Nobody's really set in stone. Okay, Leo, Santa Cruz, and fucking Tank Davis. But nobody called for that shit. Nobody wanted to see that. You know what I'm saying? Tank fighting all these little people. These smaller weight class people in 126. He was going to fight Abner Mares. But not Gary Russell Jr. I'm not getting it. Somebody answered this question for me. That's, I just had to go on that little rant. But, but anybody, like, anybody got a solid answer for me? Leave it in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.